In this video, I will compare ManyChat versus ChatView and tell you which of these tools may be best for you and your needs. I'll go over what they do exactly, which platforms you can use them on, how easy they are to use, and basically just which one is best in my opinion. So first, let's go over the channels you can use them for. So ChatView you can use with Facebook, Instagram, on your website, or on WhatsApp. Now your website will be a button that leads them to Messenger, which is Facebook. So it's mainly Facebook, WhatsApp and Instagram. Now ManyChat on the other hand does offer more. Here you do see those same ones, Instagram, WhatsApp and Messenger, but it actually also works with SMS and email. Now in terms of ease of use, they are both very easy to use and they both implement AI. Now in terms of pricing, ChatView depends on what you want. So you have Facebook and Instagram and WhatsApp. So if you want to use both, then you need to have two separate subscriptions. For example, if you only want Facebook and Instagram, it starts at $19.99 per month for 1000 conversations. Now, if you have 10,000, for example, then it's $89.99. If you have 100,000, then it is 624. So it really depends. Now you do already have all of these features. So you have DM, click to ads, posts, stories. You can integrate with JSON API, Zapier, Stripe, ChatGPT, and Google Sheets. And they also have an enterprise plan with a personal account manager, bot building services, and bulk pricing. Now for WhatsApp, it also depends. For, for example, if you have 500 conversations per month, it's $34.49. Now comparing this to ManyChat's pricing, ManyChat has a completely free plan available that is actually very good. With up to 1000 contacts and no credit card required and you already get access to the same platforms being Instagram DM, Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp. Whereas with ChatView for this you will need to have two separate subscriptions. Now you already get to automate conversations, acquire new customers and segment your contacts into 10 customer tags. Then the pro plan, you also get SMS text messaging and email, and this starts at $15 per month. And for, for example, 10,000 contacts, it's $65 per month. And here you get access to some of the more advanced features. And then there's also an elite plan with custom pricing for some even more advanced features. Now for many people, the free plan is actually going to be already very good. And the pro plan may also be even better for you, but it kind of depends on what you need. So if you are looking for a free option, you should go with ManyChat. Now I will leave a link to this page down in the description where you can just get started with the free plan. You can also get a 14 day free trial on the pro plan if you would like to. Now when we look at their G2 reviews, you can see ChatView has 44 reviews and it scores 4.5 stars out of 5. Now ManyChat, you can already see it right here, has 146 reviews and it scores 4.6 stars out of 5. So ManyChat scores a little bit better, but it isn't a huge difference. So when should you use ChatView and when should you use ManyChat? In my opinion, ChatView is better for post-purchase, so to enhance customer loyalty and retention and to optimize post-purchase engagement. For these two, I would use ChatView so you can do stuff like order tracking, returns and refunds and complaints. For for these two right here, if you want to do that, I would go with ChatView, so that's mainly for e-commerce. Now ManyChat I would use in pretty much every single case. You can use it for creators, e-commerce and agencies, and it's just overall a very easy to use, but still very advanced and good tool. So ManyChat is better if you are communicating on more channels, including SMS and email, and it offers great documentation. It's really intuitive and it is easy to use. If you usually take payments with PayPal, you can make it available right within your chats. And if your budget isn't there yet, you can just again get started with their free plan, which I'll leave a link to down in the description. Now ChatView is better if you need to handle more open responses or even if you want to offer a full AI chat experience to your users. If you are unsure of what to build, it has more templates compared to ManyChat to give you a quick start. And if you value having all the features always at your disposal, the pricing structure doesn't block you out of anything important, instead charging on an active conversation basis. Although ManyChat's pro plan also has pretty much all of its features in there. So if this video helped you make a decision, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. And again, if you want to get started with ManyChat, I'll leave a link to this page where you can just get started with their free plan or pro plan or even elite if you would like to. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.